Now that we've learned how to shoot the hyperlapse out in the field, we're gonna jump right into the editing program and get right into it. So I'm editing my footage in Final Cut Pro 10, but you can do this in any editing program for the most part. Um, so once you get all your clips imported, you're gonna put these down on the timeline. Once all your clips are down there, Final Cut Pro knows these are pictures, so we need to turn this into a video. That's our next goal. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn these down to, you're gonna hit Control D1, and then you're gonna hit Enter. That's gonna turn them all to one second uh, intervals here, so it'll, go, but the it's not into a video format yet. Final Cut Pro still knows either pictures, so what we'll do is we need to turn this into a compound clip. So hit Alt G, go up to the top, hit OK. Once this is a compound clip, you will then export the video right at the top. Okay, so once your video has been exported, I'm gonna bring it back on from the desktop. Next thing you're gonna to need to do though to make this hyperlapse is you need to stabilize it. So, um, so go over here, hit stabilize. You're gonna to wanna to turn on inertia cam once this has been stabilized. Don't keep it on uh, automatic. So inertia cam's a lot better for it. I've noticed over smooth cam or automatic. Once you have inertia cam on there, it should be very stable. Looking really smooth and good. Um, if you don't, if it's not fast enough, you can always speed it up and you can make it even more epic by doing that. So you can speed it up to times two. Looks pretty good. I messed up on mine right there, as you can tell. So once it's to there, then you got your hyperlapse all completed and it looks good. If you feel like I've missed anything, go ahead and leave your questions down in the comments below. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Give it up, give it up, give it up.